Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today, we're decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. So, like I mentioned in my last video, I just don't really wear makeup. I haven't really worn a ton of makeup since um, COVID a few years ago, and then now I have a child, a young son, and so I really don't have the time to wear makeup or dedicate to makeup like I used to. Um, it's why I switched how my channel was going. Well, I had an old channel that was makeup focused, and that's just not really my whole vibe anymore. I still love makeup. I still watch a lot of makeup videos, but I don't need as much makeup as I used to have. Now that being said, my first declutter was foundation, powder, primer. I did pretty good in that one, getting rid of about 50-50. Um, my next one was blush, bronzer, highlight. I did not do as well on that one, but I don't want to like, make myself get rid of things that I don't want to get rid of. And definitely if I'm wearing makeup, you know, the cheek products and eyeshadows, those are the kind of things that I'm wearing all the time. It's more or less foundation and lip products that I'm not doing a ton of. I believe this will be the next category, or this is the category that we're doing next, obviously. And then I think I'm going to do like single shadows, eyeliners, things like that. And then I'm going to end with lip products. So starting on a high note, hopefully ending on a high note. We'll see how this goes here. Um, like I said, I don't want to make myself get rid of something that I don't want to get rid of, so I'm not going to if I don't want to get rid of it. Um, because a lot of these I'm kind of like collecting a bunch of, like you'll notice I have a bunch of Anastasia, a bunch of Too Faced, a bunch of Natasha Denona, um, and so I don't want to make myself get rid of something that I don't want to get rid of. So, we'll start here. I love the Soft Glam. I love the Sweet Peach. Keeping... Um, love the chocolate bar. I love the modern renaissance. Subculture, um, isn't my favorite, but I bought it again just so that way then I can have, you know, more of the whole collection. These are kind of like collectory type pieces for me. Um, same goes with a lot of the Urban Decay. So I've got the Urban Decay Cherry. I've got the original Naked palette. Got the semi sweet chocolate bar. I have the Sultry, which they don't sell anymore, which stinks because Sultry is actually really pretty. Um, and I want to keep subculture just so that I have, you know, more of the whole collection. I'm um, continuing on with some Naked palettes. I have the Naked Honey which I actually really like, and then the Naked Reloaded I more recently got. Um, I like all of these. I'm not going to make myself get rid of something. One that I spent the money on, two that I really like. Okay. This ColourPop Kathleen Light So Jaded I think is super pretty, but I don't wear it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do some of these. Let's see, the Lorac Pro 1, and then I think this is the Lorac Pro 3. I actually really like this formula. I think it's really good, so I want to keep those. Um, like I said, I have a lot of Natasha Denona. I've got the Sunrise. I have the Bronze. Um, I have the Green Browns. I wore this on my wedding day. This is not going anywhere. <laughs> One, because I spent a lot of money in it, and two... Um, I wore it on my wedding day. I want to keep my Natasha Denona. I've got more Natasha Denona down here. This is the Star Palette. Keeping that. I more recently got the Natasha Denona um, All Neutral All Neutral Biba Palette for Christmas. Keeping. Um, I think that's all the Natasha Denona that I have besides this one. Um, this was the Peak Palette. I think I want to keep it. I actually like wearing these shades on my eyes. I don't typically wear those shades necessarily to work. Um, I am a teacher. But I will, you know, wear them for other special occasion type things. Um, I'm going to put my Charlotte Tilbury to the side for a second. Tati Beauty. This is just so pretty. Keeping, like I said... I'm not making myself get rid of things that I like. I have two Morphe palettes. 
This one is the 35O Supernatural Glow. Okay. And then I have the 35XO Natural Float. I just like, like I like the options that these have. And these are, they're not new by any means. Let me think about those for a second. Ooh. This Emily, the Needs palette, is clearly broken. Um, I haven't reached into it for a really long time, so I am going to declutter it. ColourPop Going Coconuts, I think, is really nice. Think about it. Nude Mood from ColourPop. I think out of these two, I like the Going Coconuts more. So I think I'm going to get rid of Nude Mood. And I'm going to keep going coconuts. Persona Identity. I do like. I think about that one. The Zodiac. I love this one. The Salvaje. My favorite shade is this shade right here. But I don't use it so I'm going to get rid of it. Dream Street. I do like Dream Street. But I don't wear it. So they can go. Um, Midnight Masquerade. I don't wear. Um, Elf the New Classics. I actually really like the new classics, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, this L'Oreal Enchanted palette I do think is really good. It's actually, I believe, a dupe for the Natasha Denona Peak palette. Here, you can get a very similar look between the two. Um, but I'm already keeping the Natasha Denona in, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, let's see, some of these smaller ones, I probably could have waited to do some of these in the singles video. I'm not going to use either one of these. This is from Bella in Argente, and this is from Farah. I'm just not going to wear those. Riza Beauty. No, I'm not going to wear good amount of Charlotte Tilbury and I actually really like all of these. Um, this is the Sophisticate. I like, I like Exaggerize. I like a lot. This is probably one of my favorites. I just got the Super Nudes. Um, I have the Celestial Pearl and then I have the Queen of Glow. And I really like all of those. And then I have this one bigger one. This is the Instant Eye Smoky Eyes Are Forever uh, palette. So I'm going to keep all my Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. These are really good. I just don't feel like I wear this Persona palette anymore. So I can get rid of it. Pass it on. Violet Voss Holy Grails. I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of these two Morphe palettes. Um, what are you doing? This, these are a bunch of Coastal Scents, which I don't think Coastal Scents is a thing anymore. Um, I know that these are really old and I don't read through them, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, the Essence palettes, my brother just got these for me for Christmas, so I have the Evil Queen. And then the Scar palette, I want to keep those. I have a bunch of ColourPop singles in here, and I really like them, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I have not used these CoverGirl True Naked palettes, so I'm going to get rid of them. The Milani Soft and Sultry. I want to keep the Bold Obsessions. And then I'm going to keep it too. Okay, these are the final three. The Nudes of New York, I actually really like to keep. 
this Wanted palette from Trend Beauty I can get rid of. And then the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. I'm going to keep this one just because it's fun. So, getting rid of... Getting rid of 17. I know I'm keeping a lot more, but like I said, eyeshadow palettes, it's kind of like a collector thing for me. So to get rid of this many is good enough for me. I hope that you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next two because I think they will be better. Um, and I will link my other ones below. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more mom and decluttering and organization type content. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.